Welcome back to Will Pod. I'm your host, Will C. And today is Chicago Part 4. We got Joe, recurring guest, recurring host. Thank you. If you're new here, this is Part 4 of 4. So go watch 1, 2, 3, and 4 before watching this one. Or if you don't like stories in order, watch this one and then go and watch the other ones. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. You don't Joe, want to miss it. Are you excited to finally end Chicago after talking about it for so long? It's just funny because, like, I was thinking about it at this point. And, like, every time we talk about it, like, the recollection of it is getting, like, weaker and weaker. <laughs> so, like, I'm trying so darn hard. At the like, we can't here. remember where like, we ate or what we ate or who, who was with us. No, we can remember. Between us, there's collective brain cell count that's enough to recall the rest <laughs> of this trip. I you going to say it's dwindling. <laughs> I mean, it is dwindling. <laughs> And Hopefully just, not. Thank God that turned off. Hopefully that stays off for the next 40 minutes, but I might have to go turn that off. That's all right. Let's get into it. Because we are racing time, and we are racing the AC. <laughs> yes, we are. So, pull up the pictures so we can recollect <laughs> correctly. Do you remember where we left off? Um, it's the, when we ended up at their bar. We That's talked we about... Okay, so we talked about how you guys got your yep, collective... Matching. Matching shirts there. We got to yep. um, talked about we Taco. talked about the, the tacos. Yep. Okay, we oh wow. Yeah, okay. We talked about the beach. Yeah, we talked about, about it. The we much we love the waterfront. Yep. Beautiful. That's the picture I used. For this one? one? That one? Yeah, that one. Dude, that one is just so <laughs> funny. What's so funny is look how like Google like does its motion and then it enhances the frame it's that crazy. it Crazy. It's so weird. That is crazy. Camera phone tech is nuts now. I can't believe you can there. literally just delete stuff out of there. It's beautiful. Wow. Um. <clears throat> all right. So we do 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 do. So we ended the juggling. So we walked. Forever. We walked forever. We took the snow. We got the snow cone. <laughs> the snow cone. <laughs> this video. You gotta, you gotta send me that. It's a sick video. It's for sent it, but I will. I, I will. think you did send it, but I I'll think it's it. just lost in the chat. There's so much in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just lost. laughs> Too much. Yeah, but that was, it's a video of William crossing uh, one of the infamous uh, bridges in Chicago that goes over the, the Chicago River. I that's think the one that's that what it's called. Yeah. Whatever the one that runs through the city. Yeah, and they dye it green for St. Patty's Day. For St. Patty's Day. For the local day Irish. Hey. Um, so then we walked there, then we did the snow cone on yep. the train. Yep. We get to the bar. Yep. Okay, the bar. We all cram into this tiny little booth, a circle booth. Yeah. And I'm starving at this point. Yeah. Absolutely starving. Were you hungry? I don't remember. I was. So I, I can't remember what we got though. We ordered like a bunch four of sides or something. Yeah. Then we got like ma we probably got like moss sticks. I don't think we got onion. Pizza rings. logs. Pizza logs, yeah. yeah, definitely. Mac and cheese I got, I think. Yeah, somebody did. We definitely got mac and cheese. And then we had our first round of drinks, maybe second round of drinks. Because we waited. American. Yeah, we were waiting for... A larger table. Yeah, we were waiting for, like, the... The bar is cool because it has, like, some conspiracy stuff. I don't mm. know what, like, secret society stuff. Yeah, yeah, just, like, some, like, uh, banners of secret societies. And we, like, asked about it. And just, like, I don't really know. And we're, like, are you saying that? Or, or are you just... Do you actually not know? <laughs> I think she was part of it. Yeah. I think we weren't Let initiated us know. enough. What was the place called? <laughs> I have no clue. Skyline? No, Sky. Sky. No, no, Skyline was the other bar. I think Skyline was the. Shanava. Was the one that we closed out. Right? <laughs> Just thumb me through the pictures right now. And uh, they get good. So we end up there. We're waiting, waiting for a bigger table. Basically, you walk in and there's a bunch of boots, like tiny boots, enough for like three people, maybe four people can squeeze in. And there was, I think, six of us. So we were all squeezing there. It was a very intimate time. All our knees were touching, but it was a good time. But it got extremely hot. I don't know if you remember. <clears throat> when we were all sitting like that, it was extremely hot. And we finally found a table that was open. It was like yeah. a 12 top I got, table. I got so freaking hot. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was nuts. So we ended up moving to the table. We have a very nice bartender, very good bartender. Except the fact that she kept forgetting Brock's drink. <laughs> if Brock doesn't drink, 
so she always was forgetting a Coke or Sprite or yeah. whatever Pepsi. But that's like kind of the name of the game. Nobody nobody remembers that, unfortunately. No, that's not the money maker. No, no. And it's free. Oh, actually, I don't know here if it's free refills or not. I don't know. In Texas, it's definitely free refills. So we get the big table. And we just start hanging out. There's a pinball machine, right? Pinball yeah. machine. Yeah. Um, the three girls show up, Jasmine and her sister and the friend. And we just at the big table chilling, chatting, talking. And Joe sees the pinball machine. Joe and Brock get up to go play the pinball machine. And I'll let Joe take over. Yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> the pinball machine. He can drive the store. <laughs> I go to put a dollar in the pinball machine. Um, it was uh, like uh, Adam's family uh, pinball machine. It was pretty cool. Uh, v very vintage looking, but like at the same time, like it had all the modern bells and whistles of like, uh, like a <coughs> modern uh, pinball machine. So it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. It was um, fun. I even played it too. I really like it. It didn't take any of the dollar bills for some reason, and and so like my dollar bills weren't working. I was all sad, and I was about to not play. And this um this woman comes up to me, and she was like. Oh, I'll trade you uh, some coins for that dollar bill. I was like, oh, yeah, there you go. Here you go. I'd take that. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> uh, I just go about playing the uh, the pinball machine, and uh, Brock and I played it for a while. And then they were zoned in. We were zoned they in. They were zoned in. Go sit down at the table, and we're drinking, uh, doing another uh, round of drinks, talking about all sorts we were, of stuff. I don't even know. Stuff. Tons of topics. Yeah. And, we were talking um, about some random stuff, <clears throat> all sorts of random things. <laughs> it was <laughs> and it was stories. I can't even. Game. We can't even tell the stories unless we have the ferns. Need the ferns. Yeah, yeah. We can't. We can't do those stories justice. Unfortunately, let us know if you want to see the ferns in the comment section down below. Someone was. I remember someone asking me like, um, "Why not?" Or they were like, "Go, go talk to her because she was playing the pinball machine later." And I was like, "No, no, I can't do that." And. Um, <laughs> And then they're like, no, go, 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 go. And I look behind me and, or behind Fern, and she's playing the pinball machine, but there's this older gentleman watching. <laughs> I literally thought that was her dad. I, that's why I, I said that. I'm I like, I'm not going over. That's her father right yeah. over there. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Could have been her brother. Could have so. been her brother for I all I know. I don't think so. But um, could have been a guy just trying to hit on her. Um, it's like a 50-year-old guy. It was weird. Describe her. <laughs> I can't even. She was like brunette. She, she was brunette. Uh, she was cute. She was cute, yeah. Yeah, she was cute. Light blue dress. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. And very into the pinball machine. Yeah, it, very much into the pinball like, machine. Like a, <laughs> like a lot. Yeah, so much later, she comes up to me a second time. She's like, wow, I saw you playing the pinball machine. And I'm like, yeah. We're shaking hands. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I gotta go. Because <laughs> that's when we're leaving. I can't remember if there was anything else that really happened. There was like, uh, a, there we, was like a photo booth there. Yeah, we jammed into the photo booth. Did that even work? Mm, I don't even no, I didn't even see the, I didn't see the strip. But it was... Uh, the camera, we, there's no way. We tried to fit The like, photo booth maybe fits two people. Yeah. And we tried to do me... Nine. Fern two. It was ridiculous. Zan, Brock, Fern... No. Fern, Zan, Joe, and Brock. And Everybody. Then, and then the girls were trying to put their head in. Yeah. Right? Something like that. There was, we were trying to stack six people in a two-person No, I think booth. we were trying to prove to the girls that you we could. We could do it? Yeah. We were at, we were going. We fit up. I just, but, I don't but think the, the camera, picture. no, the camera couldn't do it. That's just it. Like, I mean, the camera, we had the means to fit our meat ourselves in there. The camera didn't have the means to. The camera got a couple shoulder pictures. Like, yeah. It was that was it. Hey, but we fit in the, and apparently it's like a super old booth, like. Like super old, whatever. Possibly they bro almost broke it. Oh yeah. No man, no. Please, please no, don't. No, no. So we got the Ubers out. I have a cool picture of Fern Two standing next to the sign for some reason. <laughs> I'll show it to. Adam. I don't think it's on my phone. I think it's on my laptop. When we were just waiting for the Uber. Right. And we were just chilling, waiting for the Uber. The ladies got an Uber first, and they left first because I saw that video of them being like, "About us." And um, that, because we were taking the Uber to the uh, karaoke, karaoke bar. place. Yeah. And that's when Fern looked at me. And I'm, we've already had kind of a good amount of drinks at this point. And he's like, what, what, what were you talking to that beautiful woman about? And I'm like, like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That did not happen. <laughs> and he was like, 
what do you mean that didn't happen? And you talk about the, and, and then it took me, you know, a second for it, it to click to me. I was like, oh, yeah, no, he's right. That did happen. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I was like, yeah, no, I just, I was, I wanted to play the pinball machine. <laughs> Joe was locked in this pinball machine. It was, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was a good pinball machine. It, it was a good, bin, I'll have to say, it was a very good pinball machine. And I'm really bad at pinball, and I was able to play it, so I was happy. That's right. You played it around. A couple rounds. Yeah. Um, and the Uber, that's when the guy was, no. Was that the flashing guy? No. No, that was the night before. No, that guy just got to listen to all of us laughing about that because of the story. Either way, you told the story. Oh, the fumble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Either way, you were just like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. No, I'll never forget she's that. Like, she's like, you know, Joe, when I, you were playing this thing, or, or was it the dollar or something? Yeah. And then, and then, and then just, she's like, oh, yeah, I'll trade you this. And you just go. Thanks and just ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That was so funny. The coin term of the of the whole trip is nerd riz. Oh man, nerd riz. Joe nerd riz the record store lady. <sighs> about we talking about that? Star Wars, yeah. Yeah, we Bad Batch, yeah, right? That was, that the was cool. character. Yeah. Nerd riz her up. Nerd riz this the bar girl up. Yeah. And he just didn't realize. No. <laughs> I'm busy. I was on vacation. Yeah, Joey. My, man, my brain was too. Vaca <laughs> vacation, Joey. I don't think we talked. Did we talk about the the dance, the water dance? No, no, no. Water dance. <laughs> all right, we're not talking Just about look the water up dance. Look up de Paulo. That's all. Oh, you that's said. okay. Uh, yeah. Jose Fonseca. Uh, Jose Fonseca. Jose Fonseca. Cabito de Paulo. Joe rec <laughs> recreated this while. Having full hands, uh, man, my whole my out of harbor. <laughs> it's a, it's my favorite video what of the was year. It? Like a friggin', how how wide was the walkway? You would say. <laughs> oh, oh, it was pretty. It was eight feet, ten feet. No, I'd say like twelve feet. Twelve feet. Twelve feet. Twelve feet. Yeah, I'd say like twelve feet of like concrete slab, but the drop from that to the water was substantial. And that was like 10 I feet. was pretty scared. Yeah, that was like, points. at some, at the tip, it was like 15. Yeah. That was scary. Even, <laughs> I wanted to jump in, but like, even I was like, that's not safe. Into like the, the, like the one side that had like water pooling. Yeah, on the right side of that picture, you'll see it, um, I think Chicago 3, I posted the picture. Okay. I'm standing in the center, and then to my right is the main water. And this, and behind me is the city. And to the left is like an eddy where there's like volleyball yeah. uh, nets and stuff. And that's what he's talking about. It's the left side. Let me find the. But there was like stairs down to that, right? There was like these janky, wobbly stairs to where I put one leg and I was like wiggling it, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I should just jump down there and climb back up or take the stairs. And I took oh, the stairs. Brock got some amazing pictures. I have some good ones too. I haven't had a chance to go through them, but I need to find this video. Oh yeah, here, there, there, here. <laughs> Those stairs? Yes. Oh my God, those things were bad. <laughs> those were bad, dude. dude wow. Those were wiggly. Yeah, it's kind of. And then you had this couple. Dude, this this chick was so. She was <laughs> she was fine. She was <laughs> so fine. I, I remember that vividly. Wow. Jose. That's Fonseca. all I gotta say. Is Jose Fonseca. Okay, I'm gonna go turn off the AC real AC. quick. We, okay. we lost the race. I'll be right back. Um, right now, I'm looking for a video that Joe does not want me to show on camera, but I'll meet him. We'll watch it, um, so we can laugh about it, and I'll and I'll play the song. Uh, you won't be able to hear it, but um, the the vacation Joey is vacation Joey is. <laughs> Next level, Joey. If you ever get to vacation with us, you'll experience vacation, Joey. And he's an animal. Man, what the animal. heck you talking about? I'm, I'm telling you how vacation, I'm not... Vacation, Joe. Yeah, I'm telling him about vacation, Joey, and how I'm not going to show them a video, <laughs> but we're going to watch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this freaking... Vacation, Joey. What's up? Vacation, oh God, Joey. Dude, yeah. way too much stuff on me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
love it. All right, I need to find a bag that's between, like, the bag that was on my back and the one that was on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, that, dude, that was so funny. I, it's a, oh, God, it's so good. Gotta be the so Paolo. Yeah, listen to that song and see how you move. It makes you move. Um, yeah, we'll work on your bag sitch. Because, yeah, having to carry both is kind of oh, just kind of a drag. I'll, I'll look at how many liters your bag is because mine's 20 and it's perfect. Mm. So mm. maybe maybe you need a smaller one. Just like a day bag. Like, that's a day bag. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want something to, like, carry on my back, though. That's the thing. Like, you I, like, I, like a si- a I like a side sling, frankly. Like, that oh, was, there's that was tons. pretty nice. But, like, I need one that's but. probably the size of... Is it your bag that's the blue one, or no, is it Brock's? Brock's. Brock. That's a good size looking one. Yeah. That's, that... That looks like it could fit a lot. That will fit everything except for clothing. See... Okay. But you like to carry a pair of clothing. Yeah. So I would say, like... I gotta go larger, then. Honestly, probably a running bag might be good for you, because it carries your water... And your clothing. That's the two biggest items and two heaviest items. Because mm-hmm. other than that, it's just your phone keys, wallet. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. There's nothing like deal. What is it? You said a running bag? Yeah, they're like slimmer. Okay. And they're usually smaller. A lot of them come like contour to the back vertical like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we can look at it. I want to look. Run through. I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Prime day. It's today. Oh, yeah. We can look at it. <laughs> it's definitely it's prime day. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think I spent enough money today, but... Running back. You could, like my gym bag, you see in the blue one? That yeah. might be the perfect size for you. Yeah. Ooh, these are pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to take a look. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll peruse right now. We'll get you set up. Yeah, yeah. A good bag should last you, I think we've talked about this on here, I don't remember. We should do a whole gear video with Mark. Yeah. But a good bag should last you at least 10 years. Like my backpack, my main backpack, I just retired it last year, mm-hmm. lasted me from the seventh grade. Mm-hmm. And I'm 28. Mm-hmm. From the seventh grade. That's crazy. How much Go- usage you put it through? Every single day. It was my school bag all throughout middle school, high school, college. Yeah, yeah. And my travel bag, yeah. any trip I ever took. So literally every single day of school, I never switched bags. I remember and travel bag. I had a bag from high school... All the way to, like, the second year of college. Um, so that was, like, six, seven years. Mm-hmm. And I remember that. Like, I was, like, really surprised at how long that lasted. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, anything that lasts, dude. It's worth it. I, I, That's why I, I only buy quality stuff now. Yeah. Like, that bag is such a testament of buying a good brand. It's a, They don't even make this anymore. It's a North Face Big Shot. Hmm. I love North Face. <clears throat> they make great stuff, or at least they used to. I don't know their situation now because a lot of these outdoor brands are are switching from durability to like eco-friendly a little too much on the green side Mm -hmm. where their products aren't lasting as long okay um but like i said i haven't bought a bag there since the seventh grade which i didn't even buy the bag that was a hand-me-down of my cousin who had used it years prior to wow yeah i remember you telling me this so who knows how long that's been in circulation so whatever 24 minus 7 is that's how long i used it wow uh, four every single day, <clears throat> and when I say trips, like hiking, camping, but not even just that, and international, coming to Buffalo every year, winter time, summer time, every single thing, I love that bag. I still have that bag. That's my primary go bag. Hmm. It's a very very good bag. It's a very very good bag. I wish they still made it. <laughs> don't make them like they do anymore, man. No, they don't. They, they actually don't. the past like five years <clears throat> or seven years. Of our lifetime, I feel like actually quality's gone down, like a visible quality in everything, like fast yeah. fashion, water yeah. bottles, yeah, um, like electronics. I feel like because it's so easy to manufacture crappy ones now, like gas station quality, yeah, it's harder or it's just more, ex- way more expensive now to get good stuff. I don't know if you agree, but that's it's- how I. That's how. Like my experience has been, because I used to be able to get a gas station wire, last me five years at least. Hmm. Now this past one lasts me three years. I'm like, what the heck, man? Yeah. And that's a one for one, like just me, but I've bought a lot of gas station wires and they've always lasted. So I don't know. <clears throat> no, you, um, you got to be careful when you shop just because um, just like media is 
there's so much merchandise out there that you can purchase now and, yeah. and a lot of it's knockoff crap um that just doesn't last as long it isn't built as well yeah like fat the i think a really good example is fast fashion it's gotten so so i mean it's always been accessible but like it's extremely click of a button accessible now so oh no we're getting off topic though what Chicago. is fast fashion <laughs> fast fashion is like sheen you know sheen or like um you know, uh, Wish, the brand Wish, like the Chinese brand Wish. You haven't seen it. No. Um, Sheen is like an is like it's basically it's like surplus clothing, mm -hmm. and it's like one of those one time wear things. Okay. Where like you get a shirt that looks kind of like another shirt, but it's just made super cheap, <clears throat> like even cheaper than that. Like if I went and got like a Ralph Lauren polo, and I got the Sheen version of a Ralph Lauren polo, mm -hmm. that sheen one is gonna last like two washes and be done basically that's that's like the quality of fast fashion sure 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 but fast fashion is getting like just cheaper goods that look almost the same to another person's design or just like just cheaper okay yeah which sucks i've never i don't think i've ever gotten anything fast fashion frankly hmm. that's good majority of people Where do, do you know like Hey, do you look for that stuff a lot? No, no, I don't wear it. No okay, way. Okay, okay, okay. No way. My cousins do. A lot of my cousins will get it because, like, they're like, oh, I'm only going to wear this dress out for one night, and that's all I need it for. And it's like, all right, okay, that kind of makes sense. Mm. But then you wear it, and it's, like, see-through, and then you're like, well, I can't even wear this. <laughs> so, like, the, <clears throat> like, usually stuff with, like, that's fast like that, has, like, low quality control. Like, you'll get something, and it's, like, stitched, like, wrong, or... You know, something like that. Think of, like, H&M, uh, but worse. Wow. Because, like, H&M clothing, you know it's only going to last, you know, a very short amount of time. A couple months if you wear it often. But, like, <laughs> excuse me. If you wear it seldomly or you take care of it, that's different. But I'm talking about, like, mm. yeah, it's just a, a one and done. Like, if I were to buy a good knife compared to a gas station knife, it's kind of the same. All right, okay. Like, I know that gas station knife is going to become loose, get dull, crappy steel... More than likely, it's going to break yeah, yeah, yeah. fast or faster. It's kind of the same concept. So the knives I have are they're fast kitchenware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say that's fast kitchenware. That's a good example. Yeah, that's a good example. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a nice, I've never heard that before. Fast that's fashion? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's a terrible thing. <laughs> it's terrible. It sure sounds like it. It's, well... I honestly, clothing in general is terrible. I know clothing should not be that expensive, <clears throat> straight up. I, I think I read something like Americans buy like 30 plus new, art I think it's 50 plus new articles of clothing a year. Maybe it's 30. I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot. It's a minimum of $30 a shirt, which is nuts. Like, I don't, I don't buy that much. I don't know what's, it really, it's, I don't even want to get on the tangent, but dang, is it hard to shop now. Because, like, you got a minimum of $20 yeah. per T-shirt. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's a T-shirt with, like, a friggin' Captain America shield on it. It's 20 bucks, dude. I'm like, wow, dude. You're paying nuts. for the, the decal more than anything. Yeah, and it's going to friggin' go off in the and wash anyway. Yeah. And it took them so much less to even <laughs> produce. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked. Oh, my God, dude. What a nuts, what a nuts time we live in. 2024. It's a, it's a weird time. Crazy times. It's a time that the world has never experienced before. <clears throat> Unprecedented times. Yeah, technological advancements taken over so much that people just literally don't even know who they are anymore. They're, uh... That's weird. That is so weird. Victims of the algorithm. That's true. Don't be a victim. Yeah, don't, don't be a victim of the algorithm. Take a trip. You heard it here first. Will Pod, take a trip. And Look. use your phone very minimally and breathe the fresh air. Only watch Will Pod. Take influence <laughs> from Will Pod. Go, go out and breathe air. Touch grass. Yeah, go. Okay. Oh, this is funny. I was just walking. And one of my favorite things when it rains is to touch a branch that's wet. Like, yeah. like the, the leaves are wet. Yeah. Not even the branch, sorry. The leaves that are on it. Mm -hmm. They hold a little droplets of water. I love that. I don't know why. I've always, since I was a kid, I just go like this. Oh, nice. Did you just do that. Look at the uh, trail. Trail. Yeah, okay. yeah. I love it. I love it. I don't know why. 
It has a perfect amount of water droplet on it. It's just perfect. It's just <laughs> a great nature experience. I love it. Whoa. What? Did I just, is it coming down? Did I just get... No way. There's no clouds. Something hit me. All right. Well... <laughs> Chicago. Chicago. So we hit the Uber. Uh, we tell we're the laughing, story. We're laughing. Yeah, we're, we're laughing. Laughing. We're talking. We're having a good time. Yeah. Um, I'm sticking my hand out the window as I do with my camera to make videos. My phone mm, or... Yeah. <laughs> having a good time. I have a couple good slow-mos from there. They look sweet. I'll have to show you later. Um, and we get to this karaoke bar. Look, I don't like karaoke normally, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, I'm down. I'm down for some karaoke. Whatever. It's like it's actually it wouldn't raining. be my choice. It's raining right now. It's like crazy. I can hear it on my hat. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a tiny bit. Yeah, there's we'll be, no we'll be clouds all right. though. Holy shit! That's hey, crazy. Mother Nature. Um, so we're at the karaoke bar. It's packed. It's loud. Usually when you show up to a karaoke bar, you don't show up when it first starts going on. So more than likely, you're not gonna be able to get your song even on the list, let alone are you gonna sing it. <clears throat> that was the case here. <laughs> we waited like two hours for us to sing some songs. I think me and Zam were gonna do Sweet Disposition. Um, we waited forever, dude. We waited a long time. We waited a long time. <sighs> I was, and like, I was tired by the time we got there. I was like, hey, I'm going to roll out 30 minutes in. And then they're like, no, we're going to put the song down, whatever. We wait, we wait. And I go, hey, if we're not rocking and rolling by 2 a.m., I'm leaving. 2 a.m. comes around. I go, hey. Yeah, it's true. You know, great remember, to meet I you. I remember you saying that. Yeah, I'm out of here. I exit. Joe's like, all right, I'll rock and roll too. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want you to have to leave. Nah, I thank God you said that. I was, I was tired. I was out. Yeah. I was out, out, out. Yeah. So I roll outside. <laughs> I'm waiting for Joe. I think the ferns came outside. Uh, I'm outside uh, and uh, the. I forgot about this. <laughs> I'm outside. It's the bar is on a corner. <laughs> the bar is on a corner. I'm standing on this side of the corner, and I'm and I'm facing the bar, waiting for Joe. I think the friends were outside with me, right? Yeah. This guy, I see this drunk, tall, white guy get, you know, he gets tossed out of the bar. He literally goes, starts talking shit to the bouncer and like swings on him. You can't really see it on camera, but he swing. I'm recording. He like swings on him and like nudges him. And then... It's crazy. His drunkenliness, he's like, come outside, whatever. And the bouncer is coming, and you just see him slowly trot away across the street <laughs> and just <laughs> flicking, flicking the camera off, flicking <laughs> the guy off. And the bar and the bouncer's like, what the heck, man? What the heck? And I'm like, this is so, so funny. And then Joe comes out. And then we had to uh We, we had start, to walk. Yeah, we started walking. We walked, we and we tried to get an Uber. Yeah. And uh, Uber was not working very well. We, nope. we checked to see if the Lime scooters would work because we love those scooters. Uber said, hell no. But hey, let me pause this real quick. Yeah, welcome back to Glitch Gout. <laughs> uh, so we were at 2 a.m. Me and Joe were going to walk. We're trying to get Ubers. No go. No go. I'm looking on the Lime. I'm like, we can just Lime home. Lime shut off till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. One of those things. Something. They're like, you're worth sleeping. Apparently, they, they pick them all up. That's just crazy that they drive yeah. around and pick them up to charge them, I yeah. guess. And I mean, they, I guess you need to charge it, but, like, that's got to be, like, a job. The that whole is. business in itself is it's, picking it across the city. Yeah, yeah. They, in Austin, you'll see a lot of people, like, the, the people who will charge it, they'll have, like, they'll be riding one, and they'll have, like, two, three, like, on their step. So they'll be riding like this, like this, riding and going to charge them or whatever. Hmm. It's kind of crazy. Hey, rain stopped. <laughs> but we'll keep the bag on. Yeah, seriously. Right now there's a gallon bag on top of the on top of the camera. So hopefully it looks great for you because it looked good. Um so me and Joe are walking. We're trying to get Uber, trying to get Uber, trying to get Uber. No go, no go, no go. I don't know why. Little did we know that Zan and Brock right. left too. Yeah. They left they left. About half an hour after we did. So we left at 2, they left at like 2.30. Yep. It's like get, 3 in the morning, we're walking down the streets yeah. of Chicago, and it's just, it is quiet. You can hear a pin drop. It's so I quiet. couldn't believe how quiet it was. It was crazy. Yeah, me neither. I thought there would be some people out, but no. But no, it's just me and Joe walking, and then 
did you get a call from Zan or did I get a call from Zan or something? He texted us and they're like, let us in. And we're like, we're not home. <laughs> we're, we're not back. Like, we're, we're still walking. And at that point, all of a sudden we get a call. I think you get the call from Zan. And you're like, yeah, we're still walking, dude. And they had thought that we got home and then left, went somewhere, get some food and came back. No. no. We're on trip one, objective one. Just walking home. Walking. Somehow it took us so long. It was a long... <clears throat> it wasn't that long. It but felt that, long. It, it felt long. It felt super long, but I think it was... We were know. getting so close, and then we were like, uh, come get us. Yeah, come and pick us up. Zan all of a sudden just <laughs> free and flies by yeah. us. He's like, where are you? And I'm like, turn around or something. We're the only people <laughs> walking down the where street. Where are we? <laughs> we're right here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we're the only people here. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, and then he scoops us up. Yep. And we drive like two blocks, maybe. Yep. We were getting so close. Is that the... Did we get McDonald's that night? That was the night. McDonald's oh, like, boy. Sabir. 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 So we get back. We are starving. We hadn't... So we ate. We walked. The time that we ate Dude. was like a day ago now. Yeah. Basically, a yeah. day ago. Yeah. Because now it's like 3.30, 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> And we're like, okay, we're all starving. And we had walked like, tw- how many miles? miles? Like miles. 15 miles yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. 20 miles. Just to we're get like, to that snow cone <laughs> freaking debauchery. <laughs> we walked so much. Um, I think we looked it up the last pod, so go watch Go watch uh, Chicago. It was Green. a lot. Um, and so Joe's like, all right, let's look up what's open. Yeah. McDonald's, of course, the only thing that's open. Yeah. So we order it. It's a beautiful night. I mean, really, it was. It was gorgeous. Night. I was sitting outside. Airbnb, it was after a hot beautiful. day. Yeah. 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 It cooled down. Yeah. It was nice, and we're waiting for our, our uh, McDonald's, three thirty, four a.m. Whatever McDonald's, and Joe goes, "Sabir's on the way." I'm like, nah. and I'm like, "Who?" Yeah. I'm like, what'd you just say? He's our and, guy. Yeah, and he's like, he's our guy. He's our DoorDash guy. I see it's just Sabir and a whatever, like a cord or Camry or something. And uh, he pulls up, and Joe's like, all right, come with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, Chicago, yeah, 3, right. 4 a.m. at yeah, this Yeah, this point. guy's rolling up, random guy. And he was such a nice guy. He was, like, yeah, he was hey. good guy. He was a good guy. He had our food. <laughs> Got our friggin' cheeky nuggies with our barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. I think I had my... didn't salt the fries, which was oh, weird. Oh, my God. That was that was crazy. That was... Usually McDonald's fries are, like, too, too salty, yeah. right? They, they didn't do any. Yeah, zero. Zero salt. I guess 4 a.m. Fri- fri- <laughs> yeah, fries are healthier. <laughs> yeah, if you're ever looking, looking to get some healthy fries from McDonald's. Yeah, order it at 4 a.m. 4. Um, yeah, so we munched, we munched down. I was, I remember being so tired. Yeah. And like, so much so that I just, I'm eating. And I slowly see everybody like start Peter like Brock is gone, so I saw Zan's gone. Oh, all right, I'm done. And it's just me and Joe left. Joe's done. I'm st- I'm so tired. I'm eating. I'm like oh, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> like, I'm so tired. And I think we just went to sleep like straight up. Yeah. I think we just went all right. Good night. Shut the lights and went off. Knocked out. Right. That was yep. that. That was yep. it. We literally just ate that and just zonked. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, that's it. What time Freaking, do we wake up? Nine a.m. Uh... <laughs> We had to be out of there by noon 11. or 11. Yeah, we had to be out of there, like, your normal checkout time, which is between, like, I don't know, 11 and 3. Uh, I think for us it was 11 or 12. And, uh, excuse me. So we go... We packed up pretty fast. You know, mo- more than likely I'm going to have the most gear. And I packed up pretty fast. I was, I was pretty like, wow, pretty good. Because usually I have, like, at least two cameras... Workout clothes, friggin' two pairs of shoes. Like, I have a whole thing. Yeah. Which, going to Toronto was a f- really refreshing. You didn't have that much? I just bought a pair of clothes. That's <laughs> it. And I literally bought three shirts and one pant <laughs> because I wasn't working out. Yeah. I wasn't recording anything. Yeah. Just take some pictures. That's it. Yeah. And I literally I was like, wow, this is how I used to travel. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, it was very refreshing. So, what did we do that... F- I don't even... Where are we eating? So, what do we do? It was, it was only like half the day, and um, Zan went to the market in the morning. That's Farmer's right. market. And yeah. you, me, and Brock went downtown again. 
That's um, right. Because I wanted to roll out, and he wanted to go to the farmer's market. Right. And we're and then we got the popcorn. Yeah, we ended up going to Garrett's popcorn. That place, the so downtown good. one. Oh, so good, man. It's it's stupidly good. Mm. I I understand why they're so famous. Seriously. It's it's crazy. Did your parents like it? You got them, yeah, right? Yeah, they, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, cry, they, they cry. Like, destroyed. I, I gave. I got them like a a, <laughs> a a decently sized one, and like by the time I had left uh, their house that nice. day, they were already yeah. crushed most of it. They're like, all right, we got to put it away. It's crazy. It's so good. Next time, especially if you drive, we got to get more. Yeah, because you can order it, but yeah, I I it's feel like that's odd. different, different, fresh. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how it would be, like. I've always seen people like coming from Chicago with the bags and stuff, and, like tins and all that. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And then I tried it. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, the that's tins crazy are dope good. Too. Yeah, they had all yeah. sorts of cool tins. They had the Cubs one. Yeah. They had the Bulls one. They had like the Championship Bulls one. That was cool too. Yeah. Dang, that thing's sweet. Yeah. Um, so we rolled out. I was trying not to eat the popcorn the whole time, right? <laughs> we ended up at the uh, at that cafe, yeah, overpriced cafe. Some coffee while we waited yeah. for Zan. There was a bird that was in there. Yeah, it was <laughs> a weird. little bird. Yeah, and we just waited for Zan, and and from there, that's when we got lunch at that like sandwich place. From there, I think we went east. We yeah. went east. Yeah. Towards, we ended up in like. Little Italy part of Chicago or something. Something like that. Because there was tons of like Italian, Italian shops and like those types of like bakeries and sandwich shops. And we ended up rolling into one. It didn't look that good. We rolled out. And we saw one that had a line, um, and we went there. And that sandwich was incredible. That's exactly yeah. what I wanted. It was so freaking like good. a deli sandwich. Oh, all of the food that was in Chicago was excellent, and it was like. Every flavor that I imagined for it, yeah, that was it. Exactly. Oof. You knew what you were getting with each place, yeah. and it was and it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth the money. Oh, God. The, definitely worth the money. Like, and the KBBQ was good. The mm. Italian place was good. Mm. The pizzeria was good. Everything leaned into their specialty. Yeah. They, everybody wasn't trying to do, like, ten different things. It was, no. one, it was one cuisine done maybe, like, you know, ten different ways. That's it. So friggin' good. Yeah, that deli was awesome. We got a... Friggin' look up the name. The deli? Yeah, I can't remember. Man, that was good. That was a good place. Ah, that was a really good. If I ate like baguettes and stuff, I would have got some bread. But dang, that place was good. So we then got we drove. <laughs> remember the antipasta? Antipasto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zan got it, and uh, you got it. I didn't get it. Zan got it in Brock. Oh, yeah, Brock got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it has ham in there. There's so and, much. Yeah. It's like an Italian, it's like a deconstructed Italian sub. Yeah, yeah. In a, t in a tin? I'm yeah. not even joking. It's yeah. this big. It was huge. Yeah, it's like six by six. So much onion. <laughs> so much red onion. So many olives. <sighs> you got your green salad. And then you have like capicola, all salami, meat, yeah. hard salami, friggin' prosciutto. And uh, what's the other one that's similar to prosciutto? Um, I, I know what name. you're talking about. But I had that one too. It had tons. Yeah. And, I, and, and like seven different types of cheeses. You got hard yellow, hard white, mozz. Oh. Uh, Swiss. So good. Uh, I think that. A couple more. I don't remember. But these giant things, Brock couldn't eat any of it because it had pork in it. <laughs> And so we took that for the drive. I had and my beautiful sweet. sandwich. Oh, yeah, it smelled like meat and cheese. <laughs> yeah, the whole way, man. The whole trip back. I remember I fell asleep. I woke up. I was so hungry. I'm like, give me this freaking antipasto. <laughs> I was eating salad with my hands. <laughs> freaking olives, cheese with my hands. Like, you're not playing around, dude. I was. So, I remember being so high. I literally, I, I was sleeping like this. You know, classic like that. And I literally woke up. I'm like, give me that shit. And it's six by, it's huge. Yeah, it was I just huge. grabbed this tray, just pop it open. Just, yeah. <laughs> just eating Rome, dry romaine lettuce with olives. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Dude, Freaking that's... prosciutto, which is like my favorite cured meat. Freaking oh. funny. Holy crap. That was funny. That literally, what it, that's what it was. And then, the whole, and we were listening to just um, the spooky story stuff again on yeah. the way back. I never remember what scary interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary interesting. Shout out to scary interesting. Uh, he's he's really gotten us through some long trips. <laughs> the, thank you. Yeah, thank you, scary interesting. Long drives. Tons of driving and long drives. Forget Zan. He just he doesn't drives. need anything. He just drives. <laughs> he doesn't need anything. Yeah. That guy could just look at <laughs> look at his phone and drive. <laughs> <Fudge>. <laughs> um. 
And that was it, right? Nothing else happened. We just ended up home, right? Yeah, I dropped you guys home. off. You dropped me off. I dropped Brock off. Yeah, yeah. And then I went home. Yep. And that's it, right? Like nothing else happened. We had the antipasto. We had the antipasto. I don't know how to say antipasto, antipasto. Antipasto, oh, something like that. Um, we got the, uh, yeah, man, the, the Larry, very last Chicago pick I had was you yeah, at the cafe. chilling at the cafe. Chilling. Dang. <laughs> what was it, 3 a.m., shirt off. I'm boiling. All day I'm sweating. And on our way out, um, well, like mid midway of the walk, I'm like, I'm taking my shirt off. It's so hot. Nobody's out here, you know. And mm -hmm. nobody's out here. Nobody's gonna care. Just take it off. The looking for us. I'm looking Let me tell you, shirtless guy. <laughs> Let me tell you <laughs> that honestly, being shirtless is like the best. Thing. Three a.m. Three a.m. I just exited a sweaty bar. Beautiful Chicago. Beautiful Chicago air. Yeah. Beautiful silence in Chicago. Oh. You just see a six foot one monster ah. brown guy walking around. <laughs> With his friggin' caretaker. Gun, his guns out. <laughs> Don't worry, he's completely Don't worry, safe. he's fine. He's, he's fine. been neutered. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good time. I really want to go to Chicago again. We gotta go again. I would highly recommend Chicago if you've never been. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Geez, yo. Shout out to the Ferns. The Ferns. You guys, great to meet you guys. If you ever watch this, you guys are fantastic hosts, fantastic tour guides. Gotta and hang again. Funny as hell. Um, yeah, definitely enjoyed my time in, in Chicago. We gotta go again. Yeah. Soon. I'm Next down. Year. I mean, it's, what is it? Six hour drive? Yeah. Was it like it was pretty easy? It's not bad. Yeah. 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 And I mean, as long as Ann goes, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we don't have to drive at all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can get out and figure it out. <laughs> That's crazy, man. He loves that drive. That's true. All right. So let's end it on this. What was your favorite food in Chicago? Favorite food. Yeah, favorite food. So we had it was pizza, the dogs, Italian, sub. Uh, what else? We had dogs twice. It was the first dog. Portilio's. Yeah. Incredible hot dog. Yeah. I Just so much flavor. There's so much going on with the like Chicago dog. You got the poppy bun. You got the pickle. You got the pepper. The beef dog. Beef dog. Beef yeah, it has dog. to be a beef dog. Yeah, dude. Like beef dog's not so good. What are those peppers called? Pepperoncinis? Pepperoncinos? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I, can't, I don't know. No, they're called that. like sport peppers. That's what they're sport called. Sport peppers? Sport peppers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. And then the tomatoes. Yep. The tomato, like. Joe doesn't I, like tomatoes. I hate tomatoes normally, but like I'm starting to grow onto them a little bit. Like Tomato gang. I don't like tomatoes from outside either. I like, I prefer tomatoes not from fast food places or anything. So when I order something, I usually take the tomatoes off or eat them separate or don't get them. Chicago dogs are the best. That's what I'm ending on too. I think that was my favorite. That was yours favorite too? Yeah, I think so because we didn't get another slice of pizza. I feel like pizza would edge out for me because yeah. I prefer pizza. Yeah. But we didn't get the, we should, I wish we had a chance to get a second slice. Yeah. Because I love, the first I love night it. was so hot. <laughs> I was like eating. Imagine eating inside of a sauna. That's how that. That's how that was. It's just not enjoyable. No, Joe literally was getting heat sickness. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> um, and then f we'll do favorite food, and then favorite, uh, like part of the trip, I guess. Like whether it was the beach or the bar or the you know getting there and loading in or whatever. Mm. Dang, that's a tough one. I, I think, I think it was when we were on the beach. Just cause like yeah. there was like that was the most scenic, uh, probably the most memorable part of that trip. Um, just having that stark difference between the beach and and the buildings, and that's crazy cause like that was the part that we did like not much other than just chilled. chilled. Yeah, yeah. So but I feel was, like yeah, it was fun. I feel like oftentimes on trips. That is like the best part where you can just kind of live in the area. Yeah. That's good. I mean, there was a bunch of good parts, but that was. My oh, yeah. Favorite. There was no. That was what was great about. Was a follow up. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Man, they did their Chinatown ah, really good. Oh, the KBBQ, man. It was really good. We got to try this stuff near here and see if it's any. For our birthday, let's go to this KBBQ right here, the new one. Man, you just. You said you wanted to go to. We can do both. BJ. We go for lunch and then dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, you know, right. those boys won't do it, but hey, they're down, dude. They're down. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>
Um, hey, I want to thank you for watching Will Pod. Thank you. Don't forget to watch the other episodes of Chicago Trip, including this one. Um, hey. We did it. Yeah, if you enjoyed this conversation, let us know if you'd like more conversations like a wrap-up of our trips and whatnot. And don't remember to travel. Travel. You learn a lot when you travel. Yep. Um, whether about yourself or the people you travel with or about the area or about the culture where you're traveling. Try to travel whatever way you can, whether it's a state over, a town over, a city over. Just go explore an area in your area that you haven't already. So, hey, like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell button for the next video, which will be coming out very soon. Joe. Boom. Let's, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, click one of these other suggested videos and take another deep dive into your daily conversation.